Over the long term, there's no better investment area than common stocks. And we focus on common stocks. In the late 1980s, Don Hodges had a different approach than what was offered at traditional brokerage firms. He believed that the best product the industry had to offer was common stocks. His firm chose to stay highly focused on common stocks. We buy small cap stocks, we buy medium sized companies, uh, uh, mid cap stocks, we buy large cap stocks. We buy value stocks, we buy growth stocks, and we buy what we call super growth stocks, companies that are growing very, very rapidly. And in the process of, of investing money in, uh, in companies in these different categories, we end up ultimately with a very balanced portfolio. In a, in a portfolio, you want stocks that are behaving well now, that are relevant to what's going on in the economy now, that have pricing power, that are, that are reacting to what's going on now. But also, you, you need a few stocks in a portfolio that are going to perform for you next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. The Hodges Capital Research Team identifies companies which are then thoroughly researched and evaluated. This crucial process helps us discover blue chip quality companies or young enterprises that show great promise for future earnings. It's not unusual for us to go through and look at 50 to 100 companies before we find one that we decide to do some in-depth research on. Once we identify those companies, uh, it usually entails having an ongoing dialogue with management, uh, talking to customers, suppliers, and different industry uh, participants, as well as doing very in-depth fundamental analysis. No two investors are alike, so the Hodges team designs a custom approach based solely on you, your needs, and your investment goals. I assist individual clients in helping manage their portfolios. Uh, you hear mostly about Hodges Capital managing growth portfolios, but we also manage a lot of, of individual accounts where folks are wanting income. We have clients who want to be very, very conservative. We have other clients who are middle of the road. We have clients who say, go for it buy things that are aggressive and that if, if you're right could, could really do very, very well. Primarily people obviously look at results and numbers and what kind of returns they can get in a separately managed account. But most people these days are succumbed to the fact that it's better to turn over the money or turn over the account to a professional money manager. We do not use a model where we push a button when the money comes in and we go out and buy a total portfolio all at once. We might take two to three months to get a portfolio invested and we buy only when we think that stock is a good buy on that particular day. As advisor to the Hodges Mutual Funds, we have a commitment to offer sound advice and superior service to our shareholders and investment professionals. Investment advisors are critical to Hodges Capital Management in that that's where we get our principal flow of dollars that come in for us to invest and thus we are very, very sensitive to their needs. This historic old building in downtown Dallas is home to Hodges Capital Management. It stands as a symbol of our philosophy, a monument to old traditional values while serving as a base to move into the future and new opportunities. It's this forging of the old and new that represents the true spirit of Hodges Capital Management. We've started off with five employees and we're 43 or so now and uh, we've got a lot of good people that carry a lot of responsibility and are very good at what they do. As the money management side has grown you know, we've kind of added a lot of people, we've added a lot of different influences. Our research staff has really added a lot, you know, to our capabilities. And I think as we go forward, it's going to be a lot less dependent on one or two people, you know, how, how it has been making the decisions. I think it's going to become much more of a team approach as we go forward. In this business, if you don't do well for a client, you don't keep him. And if you don't keep your clients, you don't build a business. 
So the, the pressure and the incentive is on us to do a good job for our clients and continue to grow the business.